Season 6 is turning out to be a truly wild season. Living up to its primal title, this season of Fortnite has finally introduced new animals to the island after we've filled our gullets with fish for long enough. But as much fun as boars, chickens, frogs, wolves, and raptors are, We'd be lying if we said we weren't hoping for even more new animals to be introduced into Fortnite. With dinosaurs being released earlier in the week, what other new and dangerous critters could be uncaged and let out onto the island? Could we have to worry about saber-toothed tigers in addition to the already ravenous sweats? Will we be able to live out our western fantasies by horseback? Before we get into the meat and bones, how about dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell? It lets us know that you enjoy what we're doing and keeps you updated so you never miss a video. This is Newscape Games, your source for Fortnite news, leaks, ideas, and theories. Let's get wild! Sabertooth Tigers. First up, we've got our favorite prehistoric felines. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Well, it doesn't matter today because these saber-toothed tigers are gonna get you whether you like them or not. Saber-toothed tigers are infamously known for their enormous fangs. You would not be able to tame these tigers, instead only being able to calm them down by wearing a hunter's cloak. If you don't have one, good luck! Saber-toothed tigers would travel alone and in a similar regard would pick off solo players players one by one. These titanium-toothed tigers would most often be found near the snowy mountains of Caddy Corner. They could also be found in other high altitudes on the map and may casually try to hunt around all edges of the island. Killing them would yield one animal meat and one animal bone, but that's not all. There would be a challenge where if you killed 50 saber-toothed tigers, you could unlock a special saber-toothed pickaxe in the item shop called King of Cats. Meowsels might even get jealous. Let's check out another animal. Mammoths. We hear giant, slowly moving creatures cross over the horizon. You look, and you see a whole group of huge woolly mammoths walking towards you. Is this what those giant bones lying on the island were hinting at? What if they came to Fortnite later this season? Woolly mammoths usually wouldn't attack you unless you did something really aggravating to them. Most of the time they'd be passive creatures just trying to make their way across the island. They'd have tons of health, and if you were actually able to kill one, you'd get two animal bones, two animal meats, and rare mammoth tusks which could be used for faster and better crafting of weapons or even upgrading vehicles. That said, you may have a better time using mammoths as your companions. You'd be able to tame them with the power of food or a hunter's cloak. You could also land on top of one to ride it after dropping in from the battle bus. They'd be found in more wide open parts of the map, such as the long stretch of land between Retail Row and Steamy Stacks. Once tamed, they could be used to destroy buildings and easily trample enemies. Riding on top of a mammoth would be the only real way to make it speed up. Otherwise, it would only have short bursts of energy to change in one direction. Speaking of, let's head in another prehistoric direction. Pterodactyls. You hear something flying overhead and you look to see. It's a pterodactyl! Wouldn't it be awesome to have your favorite flying dinosaurs in Fortnite? We think they'd be a really thrilling creature in addition to the raptors. Pterodactyls would be possible to tame, but don't get your hopes up. They'd be extremely difficult to domesticate since they'd always be flying. You'd have to tame one mid-air while falling to the island with your glider. Once tamed, you'd be able to grab hold of a pterodactyl and fly around with it, much like a glider, but even better since you'd be able to fly upwards if you wanted to. The pterodactyl would only have so much energy though, you'd eventually have to give it more food to refuel it, meaning you'd have to hunt down other animals while also keeping track of your pet pterodactyl. Watch out though! Somebody could come along and take out your flying friend with bullets or an explosion! You could also get shot out of the sky while holding on to a pterodactyl. If killed, the animal would drop the standard one meat and one bone. They'd also drop a dino skull, which you could then equip and use to tame other dinosaurs. Now, these pterodactyls could attack you, but would probably be more tempted to just fly away. Next up, the king of them all! T-Rexes Remember when dinosaurs ruled the Earth? Well, they're quickly on their way to take over again with the introduction of raptors in Fortnite. But that's not enough. We want more, Epic! 
And what better dinosaur to introduce than the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself? These behemoths would surely change the game. If T-Rexes were introduced, then they'd surely be difficult to tame. But we think it's possible. You need a ton of food to tame it, or even bait it with another animal. From there, you could use it to attack other players or destroy their buildings. You could wreak a lot of havoc with these guys. And we're going to say you could even ride them. That's it. Riding a T-Rex on the island? Your wildest dream coming true. Now, if you weren't able to tame a T-Rex, you better be able to run fast because they dart after you just like the raptors. If you manage to reduce their significant amount of health and take them out, then they'd drop two meat and two bones. They'd also drop loot and items like bullets that they'd swallowed from eating other players. Does anyone still have an appetite? If T-Rexes did come to Fortnite, we'd like to think you could find them between the Weeping Woods and Boney Burbs, especially since Boney Burbs has many dinosaur references within it. You could also find them near Stealthy Stronghold, since that seems to be a popular spot for raptors and also looks the most like Jurassic Park. If pterodactyls and T-Rexes haven't scratched your itch for more dinosaurs, then which would you like to see in the game? Leave us a comment down below. Okay, folks. Time for a reptilian relative. Alligators. For these critters, you'd have to be extra careful when approaching Slurpee Swamp, Lazy Lake, or any part of the map that features water flowing through it. That's right. We think alligators would be a great addition to the game and would provide primal challenges different than any other animal. Alligators would be very fast and skilled in water, but they'd be slower once they took to land. Alligators would have dark camouflage and could rapidly sneak up on you with their vicious set of teeth. Fishstick may be prepared to deal with these guys since he's had some underwater training, but us, not so much. When killed, alligators would drop one bone and one meat, and on occasion would drop an alligator egg, which could be used as an explosive to quickly subdue and tame other animals like pesky chickens. Yes, gators themselves would be tameable, though they may not be of much help in certain areas of the map. They may just be fun to mess around with. You could try to surf on an alligator through Slurpee Swamp once you tamed it, but they'd probably wriggle their way out of it before you got your balance. Next up, a couple of fuzzier creatures. Bears. We think introducing bears would be an entertaining way to put more forest creatures in the game. And you could find them most populated in the Weeping Woods section of the map. They would attack players when disturbed and chase you for at least 10 seconds until they were outrun or killed. These bears would be like walking tanks. They would have tons of health, but the plus side is they would drop two animal meats when defeated. Bears would usually be found walking around slowly or sticking their snouts into trees trying to look for honey. This would be a perfect time to pounce on a bear, or you could test your stealth abilities by sneaking past it. They could be tamed but they would wander off and typically get bored of following you around. The purpose of taming them would be to prevent them from attacking you. Care to share any of that honey, Pooh Bear? Last animal up next, horses. Who wouldn't love some wild, wild horses? We don't want to turn Fortnite into Red Dead Redemption here, but who doesn't want to be a cowboy or vaquero in a video game? Wild West, here we come. Time to round up the cattle, y'all. If horses were introduced, you could definitely tame them. That would be the whole point. They'd be popular around the Colossal Crops area. There could also be a unique taming function for horses where you have to attempt riding one and balance yourself long enough before it kicks you off. Then you could ride around anywhere on the map. What if you could even fit two players on the back of a horse, such as in Team Rumble or Duos or any other type of cooperative mode? While riding, you could shoot guns and use other items to attack your enemies. You'd also be able to travel much faster off-road than by a car, so that would be a huge advantage in the game. Lastly, horses would be an awesome addition to Fortnite because players would become attached to them. What would you name your horse if you were able to ride one in the game? If Agent Jones had a horse, he could call it Jonesy's Pony. <laughs> okay, bad joke, bad joke. That's all the time we have for today's video, folks. Thanks for sticking around. What did you think about our animal selection? Would you like to see any of these in-game? Who wouldn't love riding a T-Rex while hunting down saber-toothed tigers? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. Make sure to give us a like, click the subscribe button, and ring the bell so you never miss a video. This has been Newscape Games, your favorite source for Fortnite news, leaks, ideas, and theories. Giddy up, partner, and get along, little doggies. See you next time.